Hear it for yourself every morning or hear about it from everyone else all day. It came out of the sky. Johnny and Greg, mornings, 941 JJO. All right, 921. Otep is on the phone with us. Hello, Otep. Greetings. Thank you. Hi. Greetings. How are you this morning? I am doing uh, very well. Uh, tired, but uh, so it goes. It's, uh, early on the West Coast. Yes, it is. I'm sorry. I know you, you go to bed late. When we're we're not when we're actually waking up, you're going to bed. So, um, th- <laughs> thanks for coming on with us to talk about revolution. Oh my God, you you need to come out here. I know. I, I wish I could. I'm in the studio right now recording uh, my new album. But uh, had I not uh, uh, be un- uh, chained to the irons of that, I would definitely be there uh, in full support with, uh, with everybody that's. It's taken to the streets in Wisconsin. How amazing is that? It's unbelievable. And we had 100,000 people here over the whole weekend and not a single arrest. Hello? And, you know, the Tea Party people obviously were, were there to, you know, speak their side, which is great. I'm like, hey, everybody come out. Everybody let your voice be heard. That's totally cool. But when I walked in the Capitol last night and they had the drums going and the chants and you see all these different people from every background, it was moving. It was, uh, it was unbelievable. Well, I think it's it's rather it is. I, I think it's rather gorgeous what's happening. You know, I mean, especially in light of uh, um, you know the the recent tragedy uh, in Arizona with the shooting, and we had all this talk during uh, the congressional elections about Second Amendment remedies and all that. And and what I I'm so inspired about what's happening in Wisconsin and how amazing um, and courageous um, um, those people are is that. They've taken on this this revolutionary spirit, but doing it um, through the power of of peace, through the power of passion, and um, and goodwill, you know, towards their cause. So um, it's it's great to see to see us uh, Americans, you know, leading the way in in that. Hey, uh, Otep, uh, if you want to say something right now to Governor Walker, he's in his limo on his way to his 930 psych evaluation. So he's <laughs> he's probably listening, having a martini, laughing at all this uh, in his uh, fat limo. So uh, I don't know. That's a rumor I heard. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I would uh, I would I would tell him that I think he's picked the wrong fight. You know, you don't you don't mess with workers. You don't mess with the working class, um, the people that that. Uh, uh, you know, the world's changing. We're tired. You know, the the we're tired of tyrants. We're not going to deal with that anymore. There's no such thing as as uh, the privileged class getting away with uh, with uh, you know uh, mistreating uh, working people anymore. I think that uh, seeing who's out there, you know, who's taken to the capital uh, in your lovely state. I love Wisconsin, by the way. Um, I don't know how you guys deal with the winners, but I love it. But to see, you know, teachers standing next to firefighters, standing next to police officers, and and uh, and and then everyone else, uh, teamsters and so forth, uh, and then just every, you know, just regular folks who maybe not who aren't union people, but are this there to protect the rights of workers? I think is a beautiful thing. And and if you think about the history of of protests and where. Usually, law enforcement stands against protesters. Standing with this time, the protesters, I think, is is a sign of of, of things are changing. And yeah, times are changing, and, and I think that's really important, well, culturally it, and his, uh, historically. Even uh, Tom Morello performed last night at the Monona Terrace for us, and that's what he said, too. He's like, you guys, I've been to a lot of protests. Never in my life have I gone to a protest and had the police drive me there and had them be excited that I was attending. You know, and that's <laughs> it's so amazing yeah. and so unique in the energy. And and I feel like it's even bigger than this bill. I feel like this is seriously a stand where we're like, we're done with the BS. We're done with you trying to shove your ideas down our throats. I think so, and I think that you know uh, this this all this whole thing with it that the governor was trying to do smells a bit of of um, hypocrisy, a, a bit of um, deception, you know, leaving out the firefighters and the police officers out of the out of the bill, but um, trying to do 
there seems to be, you know, um, an ulterior motive here, and it's it's nice to see that the people have just had enough of this. Mm-hmm. They've had enough of Washington, even you know, ideas of of how politics should be. And I think people want their they, they want their communities back, and, and you know, to see you know, Wisconsin, you guys have led the way in so many. So many things, and and it's just it's 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 beautiful. It's inspiring to see, you know, it happening here after what what just happened in Cairo, right? Happening Talk. all over the Middle East to see that you know uh, that uh, it's happening here as well, and it's peaceful, uh, and yet it's passionate at the same time. Uh, is is truly truly inspiring. I mean, it's and 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 everybody that's listening should know that you know I live in Los Angeles, but. Everyone here is talking about it. Talking, um, to, talking to I have, top, yeah. I have family in the South. They're talking about it. Yeah. The world is watching Wisconsin. You know, uh, you know, when you think about it, that's funny you mentioned that. Because firefighters and policemen uh, who are standing with the protesters, but you know... By excluding them, that in itself is collective bargaining. Almost, it's almost a, a small version of collecting collective bargaining by not picking on their uh, on their pensions and their health care. That's funny you say that. That's, yeah, that's right. And you know, to, to you know, it's also to um, it's, the, it's the idea that to, to see who who really benefits from this. Um, it, you know, you're going to pick on the working class by removing their voice. From their ability to have a say in, in, in their lives and their livelihoods, um, why not just raise, you know, make make some of the corporations that are in, in the state of Wisconsin pay proper taxes? You know, that's that's. I think if people looked a little bit deeper, even though I know that, you know, uh, economics speak, but it's true. You know, you make 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 uh, the corporations pay what working people have to pay, and maybe you'll see your budget go down a little bit. But I think by leaving those two elements out, like as you were saying, the fire department and police department is telling that um, there there might be a different motive here. You know, uh, in fact, perhaps even having uh, uh, the Koch brothers, who are these billionaire cats who really are behind yeah. uh, the Tea Party. You know, they've it, it's a really brilliant move if you think about it. They 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 were able they they use the word like Tea Party. Uh, they made uh, and, and seem to have tricked a bunch of people who are very patriotic, who believe and want change in this country, but they're using all of these words and, and symbols and, and for their own benefit. So that what they can do is they can put people in place that have no no care really whatsoever for Main Street. And really just to secure their, their interests on Wall Street. And what they did, too, was they if you were against them, they made you feel unpatriotic. It, oh, it, yeah. it was Seriously, they were brilliant in what they did. And it's like, unfortunately, so many people grabbed onto it. But that's okay. We're fighting back now, and we got a voice now. So. Yeah, and that's, but I think that's, and that's, and that's what's great about the spirit of what's happening in this, in this age right now, is that it's that people want to fight back, and they want to reclaim their communities, and that's what's happening. And it's... Uh, and and it's it's just it's lovely to see it really is it's 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 uh, it's thrilling, you know. Again, um, you know, not to uh, repeat a point, but truly the whole world is watching you guys with, uh, and and it's uh, I've got I've got friends. One of my my tour manager is is from Madison, um, Tristan T J Wallace. Yes, on T Villa. So <laughs> we're addicted you know, to B W three trivia. Been on the ground, he's been. Uh, keeping me updated about yeah. uh, how it's going there, and and you know, really, just we're all riveted here. All right, we're speaking to Otep Shemaya. You're in studio right now. Are you laying down vocal tracks for your new CD? Or yeah, right now, uh, finalizing the new album, album number five, called Atavist. And uh, I have to say that um, um, what's going on in your in your lovely state has inspired. Uh, a, a bunch on the new record, and, and, and uh, in fact, one song in particular, and uh, it was. Uh, I, I can't can't be uh, can't thank you guys enough for that. You know for what you're doing out there, uh, and t- you know t- trying to secure your communities is is really wonderful. Well, hopefully, uh, hopefully we can make a stand uh, across the whole country. What if you your ideal situation? What is the end of this going to be? How how are we going to end up after everything is said and done? Well, I'm not really sure about the state, um, what, what your state politics are or laws are, but I, I think perhaps um, in California we recalled one of our governors when we felt that he was um, inadequate and inept and 
perhaps um, doing more harm than good. I'd love to see if, if that if uh, impeachment or sort of any sort of recall ability in Wisconsin is available. I'd like to see the uh, the governor recalled, and I'd like to see that uh, uh, workers are protected. Um, when you see unions saying, "Look, it's not about the money. We'll give you everything you want." Um, with regards to the um, the budget crisis that you claim this is about. We'll give everything you want, even though perhaps the budget crisis is more based on these strange tax uh, cuts and so forth that he actually enacted right after he took office. Right. No, 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 we're going to give you that. That's what the union said. Fine. Everything fiscally you want, but leave collective bargaining on the table for us. Um, I think that uh, I think I'd like to see the, the unions went out. I'd like to see the people continue to fight for their rights and, um, and, and continue to set a precedent that no longer will, we, will our lives be dictated um, by people who have no um, idea of what it's like to be working class. You know, wake up every day and worry about, is it medicine? Is it light? You know, is it the electric bill? You know, what about my school? You know, mm. what about, you know, my kids? So. Funny you just said dictated, because he's acting like a dictator, and uh, not like uh, really? we, we got a little republic thing that we're supposed to have going on here. But so, so the art of compromise is gone. They had a deal. I mean, the, the pension and health care. So anyways, we'll see. But uh, man, it's great talking to you. I'm glad you called. Sorry we got your ass out of bed so early. Hey, man, I appreciate it. I was excited about this. I barely slept anyway. I really appreciate well, you guys having me. I tell you what, I'm going to call you tomorrow even earlier and see if you appreciate it. How's that sound? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's great. Yeah. Thanks for talking to us. Are you going to play our it. victory party, Otep? Yeah. Oh, you know what? You guys invite me. I'll come. Right. Awesome. Cool. All right. We'll have a sleepover. Thanks, Otep. <laughs> Thanks, sister. <laughs> All right, guys. Talk, Thanks to, you, talk to you soon. Talk to the people. You got it. Thanks. Appreciate it. 94.1 JJO.